Muting chat for no Seize content? I want to fucking climb. Betray. I don't give a shit about content. I want to fucking climb, that's what I want. A smith's throat is too painless. One month in a row. More power. This is mercy. One month in a row. One month in a row. In a row. Two months in a row. My heart is iron. One month in a row. Two months in a row. One month in a row. Two months in a row. One month in a row. <laughs> a turned back deserves a knife. One month in a row. One month in a row. They have no concept of An misery. ally has been slain. Wait, my guy's getting cooked. Nice jungle. I have to all chat him, bro. My car level five, BD way. Dude, I'm such a degenerate. Fuck, he's not level five yet. Bro, I have to all chat, by the way. If I'm playing Deafen. I don't care, I'm all chatting. You haven't seen blood yet. The sea has no memory, but I do. Well, like, I just got a triple kill.
I will cause Omega Fed. Be bloody. More powder. Wait, why am I recalling? Cruelty for all. No way Kha'Zix will throw his lead, right? It's not possible. Shut up. It's not possible. A slow death will be <laughs> True! Comp players would never throw their lead clueless. <laughs> Holy. From the Kha'Zix man himself. Oh fuck. Galia went bot and I was ready to chat. Tides of dead will herald my return. Another All right, Zinzo, please do not murder my disgusting eyes. I'm far. All I need is a crit cloak, and we can murder Galia. I feel like this game's a static into Lich Bane game. Yeah, and you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that you should be permanently banned. That's what I'm fucking thinking. Listen, I've been playing five days straight of Low Masters EU West on 90 ping. Do you really think I'm gonna go Lich Bane static? Not yet. Not yet. First, I need Challenger, and then Death's we're gonna queue up on the second account, and we're gonna go AP Gangplank every single game. That's what we're gonna do. My Kha'Zix has Eclipse, bro. Like, we got this, bro. He's so fast. He can't lose to Zinzao 1v1. Mm, this Galio has an annoying build, though. He has 407 movement speed. So basically, he could be walking forward. Well, I can't kill him ever, because he has movement speed. Man, if I had a better fucking ult. Okay, we're chilling. Galio's missing, guys. Hang them from the slaughter dogs. I need to get rid of this vision so I can play some mid ward. This is a stupid fight by Kha'Zix. For that exact reason right there that you just saw. Yeah, like Galio's there, like it doesn't even matter if I'm there. Galio ults and all of a sudden we're CC'd for two seconds. Three seconds. And now, you know what the funny thing is? He's gonna ping me for that. He's gonna ping me and be like, why wasn't my GP here? But in reality, Galio presses ult at any single moment. We're CC'd for three seconds and we still die anyways. It's just moronic of him. Yo, we are going to fist you, Galio, on your way back. No way that works! From where we saw him, no way that works! Ain't no way, bro! Ain't no way! Protect me, bro. I almost had Q up. If I had Q up, that could've been good. I'm not gonna lie, my Zerath kind of let me down a little bit, but it's okay. Yo! Yo! You got a triple kill! Focus up! Oh, I accidentally put a fist bump. Alright, fist bump me, but guys. Bro. Kha'Zix is one of the most selfish jungle champions in the entire game, so when you pick him, 
You're expected to know what you're doing because you are you're, you're you literally give nothing to the team. Kha'Zix, Nidalee, Graves, these champions are so mega selfish and do nothing for your team, which is why if you pick him, you better be, be you better be better than the enemy jungler. And never and like actually have a brain. Oh fuck, I'm dead. No, I'm so bad. If I orange properly, I live. Fuck, that's my bad. That's my bad. I didn't want to orange on time and then like zins out ease onto me, but I probably could have done that and I would have lit. So my bad. Shit. Panic? I thought his. I thought it ran out actually, because I held it. If I panic, I would have orange right away. And our AD carry's pissed off right now, too. Fuck. I think we lost. Actually, wait, no, it's EUS. We're fine. Our Udir, though, is going like a zero health build. This guy picked Udir, and it looks like he's first timing it. Like, actually, because he has no mastery on it. <laughs> Yo, tell me you win that, okay. I was literally running because I'm like, I don't think I can trust this guy. Scuttlecrop, would you like to go forward? Thank you. I mean, there's nothing I can do to match Galio. Even if I ping it, they're still gonna die at this point because they're so weak, they're just gonna get dove. Like, they have no way to offset it. Rakan just presses R, and then Galio ults off that. It's fine. The only way they could play is if they don't die earlier and have their thumbs up or they're winning lane, but they lost lane and they lost their thumbs, so it's just always over. So my best bet, I mean, I can carry this game because they're short range. It'll just take a little bit of time, but this is actually a favorable game for me, I would say. I want to dive top over chickens because I feel like they're going to fuck up this dive. Maybe not. Take it. An ally has been slain. Is there a chance? Oh, yeah, yeah, we fight, we fight. Good. I'm so glad I rotated top over doing his chickens. If I wasn't there, I don't think they kills in. So that's a really big swing for us. All right, Kha'Zix, you got another shutdown. You have seven kills. You have Conqueror. You're into like triple melee comp, Quadra. I mean, Tysa is not really a ranged character, especially with this build. She has to be on our face to do damage. Our Kha'Zix has all the tools necessary to carry this game. It's not even a hard comp for him to play against with the rest of our team. I guess we don't really have a front line. Maybe, maybe that's a little bad for us. Because our Udir has zero tankiness at the moment. I gotta make sure I don't get hit by a Zinza. First tower is really big for me though. I'm very close. Wait, can we kill this guy? On his uh, Raptors? I think he's gonna do Raptors here. Maybe not. Well, we have one dragon lead right now, so if we end up losing one, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm really strong though. All I need is 13 and we're chilling. We're probably gonna end up losing dragon. I'm gonna TP though. Oh shit, Rakan wasted his ult. That's really big for us. I'm gonna TP here. Do this, do this. I don't want to swap the scanner yet. Kha'Zix is starting the dragon for some godforsaken reason. That's okay. We're actually winning this, but we gotta not reap it. Just go dragon, go dragon. Almost hit that barrel. Back up. Back the fuck up. Yo, we should back up. We should back up. Yo, back up. Yo, back up. Yo, back up. Yo, back up. You guys are not this strong. Yo, back up. You guys are not this strong. Yo, back up. You guys are not this strong. Is what I'd say if I was a fucking dumbass. Keep going in. Kill them. Oh, 
Let's go. Good shit, team. Really smart call by my Jinx, and honestly, they're just two 1v9. You're a hater? Well, no, they're, my teammates are just low elo, so like, that play... Uh, also, I bet if we go into the replay, I can find like 5 billion mistakes that the enemy team made here, but my team is just faker, so we win. GG. Well, Togat doesn't have ult. Alright, that was a big fight. That was huge that I chunked the Galio in the Zinzao in our previous fight. See, this is what I mean, by the way. The enemy team had an unlosable lead, but guess what? It's Masta. Masta EU West is trash. But I do. So now we go bot. It's a low Masta. You're legit just standing there watching Jinx throw 15 autos? I can't do anything! What the fuck you want me to do? A piss on her? I don't got barrels up. Betrayal stings like salt on a wound. Your turret Shit, is this guy's name is Get Nasty. Maybe he's into that. Another. Only one way to find out. The enemy team was also just standing there, so was that true? You start. You should have started emoting, dude. I should have put a fist bump. Okay, I gotta be careful. This is the part where Masta games get really scary. And you might be saying, well, what is that point? It's the point where you're doing the right decisions. So right now, the right call is to push this wave and then reset and potentially get item or push the tower. However, lo masta. We're gonna go mid lane and group with our team because a fight's gonna happen randomly. Let's see where the fight happens. I'm just gonna walk. I see Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is making the bad decision. Oh, Kha'Zix wants red buff. I knew it. Kha'Zix wants to invade, which is normally a kind of a stupid call. Oh, there it is. There's the fight. Yep, there's the stiff. We just won the game because I know how stupid these players are, bro. We just won the game because I know how dumb these players are. Sorry, I'm not trying to ego. But, like, it pisses me off because I've lost so many games in this elo for making the right decision like how stupid was that invade by the way that should never ever work but i know about it so i'm there and i land the crit barrels for fun force to go for me gets one shot low mass i guess and now look at this guy he's tilted so he's running it down now we've won the game we've won the game because they're tilted now but then again it's still low Masta, so we can't put our guard down. Bro read them like a book. All I have to do is think about what is the stupidest possible decision that we could make, and then I go for that decision. Crazy, man. Crazy. I'm not going to take my Kha'Zix's Raptors. He'll probably, he, he might actually AFK. Like yesterday, when we had a game where we were down 20 kills, down double, triple inhib, and then Udir randomly sold all of his items. Like, look at them. They're doing Baron. They're doing Baron. Yep, Udir's here now. We're chilling. Nice. We got them off the Baron. Again, stupid ass Baron. But guess what? Lomasta. Now my team might try to do Baron, so I have to cover that. I almost hit the Zen. That's kind of my bad, actually. If I hit Zen, we can end here. Uh, no, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh fuck, my Kha'Zix is going in. I have to go in. Kha'Zix is going in. I have to go in. Let's fucking go in, bro. Send it. Full send it, bro. Full send it. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right, Dragon's at twenty. Wait, go, yo, 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 what if you just kill the Cho'Gath, mister? Thank you. Cut down on 1k damage. Keep going in, it's okay. Nice job, Jinx. Well done. No, nope, don't hit the tower. Don't hit the tower. That's a bad call. So when do you recommend we can rally our team? Every other elo is normal for their rank but masters. 
You guys don't have the exact same teammates. Every other elo is normal, bro. Besides maybe Emerald, actually. Emerald is elo hell, I'm not gonna lie to you. E Emerald is also full of demons. Emerald is like mas low master junior. Emerald is low master junior. But nothing can ever be... Ne nothing can... Oh, Galio just ulted! Yep, he's tilted. Alright, this is the part where we undefin our team. Three dragons, the game's looking great. And we can play the game. And we're probably going to see some all chatting now. Look at this. 14 days. There it is. There it is, man. There it is. There it is. We're finally getting a grip on how to play in this disgusting elo. On this region, at least. Hey, let's kill Cho'Gath first, guys. This is a free kill. It's a free kill, guys. Kill him. You might not think it's a free kill, but guess what? I'm playing gameplay, so it's a free kill. Alright, let's go, Baron. Oh, fuck it. You wanna go? I'm going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Full send it, full send it. Full send it. I'm ulting for this. We can drink stuff you off of this. Okay, Jinx Rocket, maybe? Jinx Rocket landed. Alright, we go, Baron. GG. Go, Baron. Go, Baron. Go, Baron. Look at that, we won the game. They don't have any smite, they don't have a Cho'Gath ult, they don't have that. Kaisa's useless champion because AD Kaisa. I'm just gonna melt this because we already have somebody zoning. We have two people zoning. So I'm just gonna melt this as quickly as I can. Somebody's gonna die because it's low master. Right? Walk, walk back, walk back, walk back. Nope, walk back. Alright, I have to stay. Hello. I have to stay to watch these two. I have to babysit them. No, nope, walk back to Arena. Arena, I know you think it's worth dying for this wave, but I need you to recall. Alright, yeah, flash your master. You're very good at the game. Trust me, you're very good at the game, bro. Alright, let's go. Now we go mid. He's figured them out? Dude. <sighs> Ugh. I'll burn it all down if I can't have it. Just wait for my team. That's all I gotta do. Yo, let's wait for our team, guy. Okay, Udir's gonna go top. That's the right call. Cause is caught in jungle. Okay. Nice. I actually like his itemization this game. It may not be the number one build, but I prefer Bruiser this game for sure. Oh, messed up. Abuser. Oh fuck, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. I got my ult off at least, but I fucked up really badly. Like, I fucked up with my orange. I should have flashed earlier, and if I flash earlier, I penta kill. But I know that the game is won anyways because, I mean, they used all their damage, right? They have nothing. And now we have Jinx, the game should be over as long as you do your tank. X9 Shogat, yo, this guy just said, yo, think about this guy, what he just typed. This is how these players see the game. Out of everything that has happened in this game so far, what this Galio took out of it is Report Cho'Gath. Crazy. As a reminder, my 80 carry was 0-3, my ball.